What is going on guys? Today we got a look at one of the best looking cosmetic bundles I've seen to date with Ashes of Creation. The Dark Allegiance set has to be my all-time favorite looking thing from any MMORPG that I've seen. I honestly was expecting some sort of St. Patrick's Day theme, as Intrepid tends to release sets related to the holidays in the month, but this one took me by surprise. If you want to read up on the lore behind these items, feel free to click the link in below, but getting right into it, we first have the Fathom Veil, an accessory cosmetic skin to cloak your character. You can see some sort of darkness or corruption that has gone into this whole set, as it and the remaining of the cosmetic cosmetic bundle are glowing red and the cloak seems to be imbued with some sort of organish looking material on it. If you want a cool wolf pet with four eyes and it glows red, well this fallen beast has been brought back from the dead without its soul. This cosmetic pet skin is called the Shatter Claw. For the mount we have the Ebon Omen. Once again, brought back from the dead, this horse now serves as a deadly messenger. Intrepid does a very good job at bringing their concept art into the game, looking almost identical to how it was in the art, so I can't wait to see this one brought to life in a 3D model and eventually ride it around. But with that mount, you need a pretty badass outfit to wear while riding it. In the face of sorrow would be this perfect outfit. This outfit reminds me a lot of Death Knights in WoW, which both seem to resemble the dead, but the red glow coming out of this costume makes this look even more terrifying for me. Unfortunately though, the weapons shown aren't actually part of the set when you purchase it. But why stop with looking like death on land when you can sail the Grave Galleon as well? Ashes of Creation will be filled with loads of naval content and this is the ship I will be choosing when I set sail. You can see the front of it looks like the jaws of a shark while the hull and mast are made up of bones. I can't say this enough but I really do love everything about these bundles. And lastly, we have the Mausolea de Mordai, a large tower that acts as a freehold building skin. To complete the set, you can live in a ghostly tower that terrifies anyone who walks by. Like always, these sets come in multiple bundles, giving you items along with access to alpha and beta stages of the game and game time for when the game comes out. None of these cosmetic sets will give you any sort of advantage over others. They are strictly skins, there's no pay to win in this game, and I've said multiple times now that this bundle is my favorite, but Intrepid definitely keeps outdoing themselves every single month. But this bundle might be a hard one to top. What are your thoughts on the Dark Allegiance cosmetics? Let me know in the comments below, and if you are new to Ashes of Creation and want to learn more about it or join in on the forums, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, turn on the bell for for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.